Sport Fishing on the Fly is brought to you by Togan's Fly Shop, Maui Jim Sunglasses, and Hardy Rods and Reels. Hey everyone, this is Brent again here with another uh, jig fly, sport fishing on the fly. We're getting an order ready to get out the door here. These are uh, a nice color that I just wanted to share with you. We'll have all my materials out. A rusty brown. That's a very uh, nice color. We can uh, use that for uh, imitating quite a few uh, food sources down there. So let's go over the materials we need to tie the fly. We're going to use a Togan's barbless hook size 14. The in front of that I'm just going to put the brass nickel 1 8 tungsten slotted bead on there from Togan's as well. Uh, the thread I'm going to be using some 6 aught red. It's a flat thread. The flash, I'm going to use just a little pinch of this. I'm getting pretty short here. We've got enough for quite a few flies. This is red angel hair. You want a very fine flash on these flies. This is a BMW from Brian Chan, Brian's Marabou Wiggler. Just another variation of color. I'm going to rib that with a brassy red wire and uh, gives us a nice pronounced rib color. And then for the uh, body and the tail, we're going to be using some this rusty brown marabou plume here. And you want the nice soft blood quill. Very important to use the right quills and select them for that, okay? So let's get a hook in the vise. Tie one of these up. These are really easy to tie. Um, the fish love to eat them. And uh, as far as I'm concerned, that checks off most of the boxes for me right there. We're going to start, we'll dress the shank. We'll uh, bring in just a little pinch of our red angel hair. Get that right on the bend there. Trim that off with the length of the marabou. Make the tail. Now I put it on first because I want it to be on top. Marabou when the hook rides upright. Remember when you tie jigs, that's always you tie upside down because everything's going to be reversed when you tie it and fish it. Tie it on your tippet. Tie in some of this brassy wire. I like the heavy wire for this job here it gives me a pronounced color from my rib, and I'm not taken away from the pattern with a bunch of colored uh, heads. You can do whatever you like, but I like them nice and sublime. I want them to kind of look more, more of a natural bug in the water. I don't want to get too, too much color going on there. And then we'll just come in here with one of our plumes. Make sure you just take a little bit of this off the bottom. Come off the side here with a good pinch. Gather that all up. And I'm tying this little more of the leech style. It's going to be slender tail, a little bit longer than the body. You can, whatever works for you, you can tie them short or long, whatever you like. I like to come at this one with a bit of more of a leech. And I'm just going to wrap the marabou back. You can make a bit of a rope here. Just wind it forward. You get a nice hurl with the... Um, the marabou, just tie that off, and we'll bring in our heavy red wire here. Make sure you don't pinch anything down. I'm coming in here with four nice equal turns. We'll tie it off. Cut your wire on the inside of these scissors. Always. And that way it'll protect these scissors. You don't want to ever cut wire or anything coarse on the end of your scissors. You'll ruin them I'm using some good sharp anvils. There's a nice serrated edge scissor. And I'm going to whip finish that off. Get a good whip finish in there and that should hold. I'd like to thank Brian Chan for another good pattern. This pattern has been seen a lot on the internet. It's a good one. Um, We'll just get in there and have a look at it again. Remember, 
can ride upside down. I'll give you a little more of a view here. And the, and the flash is right on top of the Marabou. And uh, you can strip that. I, I would just strip that in with a clear intermediate line, basically, and fish it that way. Um, you can hang it under a cork if you like. That'll be fine too. I'm not uh, tying this as a balance leech, but it's, it's going to hang pretty decent in the water. And uh, if you're retrieving it, you want it to, to undulate anyway. So that'll be good. I, I don't fish a lot of stat static uh, leeches. I know a lot of you do, but we'd like to thank you again for watching. We'd like to thank all of our sponsors. And we'll catch you again real soon on Sport Fishing on the Fly.